welcome back to engineering graphics class today session we will discuss how to solve the projection of solids problem using solid edge software okay let us discuss the problem number 44 the question is given like this a tetrahedron of 55 mm sides rest on one of its corners such that an edge containing that corner is inclined to hp at 50 degree and vp at 30 degree draw its projections so first we will draw the xy line by taking the normal line draw the an horizontal line by taking test one end of the line we can write capital x and other end capital y and above xy line vp and below xy line hp and next tetrahedron is nothing but um, the triangular pyramid here all the sides will be having equal length that is 55 mm and here they mention the corner resting condition as the problems we got in the solids we will check the first resting condition then the hp inclination and then vp inclination we will do it at the third step and first resting condition this is a, a triangular pyramid it is resting on one of its uh, corners so corner should be taken here to get the triangle we can easily use the option macros run macros inside polygon and get the flat length and the length we know that is 55 and number of sides 3 and then you can click it in hp so now we got the uh, the base of the tetrahedron and now for tetrahedron is like a pyramid we have to find the center and from the center to all the three corners we have to draw with the visible line that is a must and should we have to do the this line should be drawn with a visible line to get the center point draw two uh, bisector lines and then to the intersection point we can draw it and these two uh, lines we can trim it this is how the tetrahedron uh, looks in the top view and coming to the naming a b and c and here the center we will get top o and bottom face o1 but in uh, tetrahedron they will not give the height we need to find the height axis height how to find out we will come to know here first we need to draw the projection from all the corners including center here and now to get the height we need to extend the center line that is the axis line we need to draw uh, up to a certain height and then this is the side this side that is c to o this here c dash to o dash is parallel to vp we know that all the edges will have the equivalent that is 55 we need to show this dimension 55 and same way if it is parallel to vp means here also c dash o dash will become same length of 55 so we need to draw the arc uh, by taking the normal line at the from the c dash we need to give the radius 55 and then draw the arc to the center line and this is the height this point will be our o dash and now go to line visible line from the o dash to here the a dash, b dash of a dash and then here c dash and then join so like this we need to draw it and later you can show the height axis height we found at 62.06 and then the naming this point we can give it as first b is there so b dash of a dash and this one is o1 dash and this is c dash and next step in the next step they said the edge containing that corner is inclined to hp 50 degree now we are resting on the one of the corner c dash this c dash containing the edge so only one edge is here that is c dash to go this is the only edge this corner is contained this one we can make it inclination but this is uh, become bottom is already is parallel that is become face but only thing is single corner is here that edge is c dash to o dash so that they clearly mention the corners at that edge containing that corner the uh, resting edge is this c dash if this one containing the edge is c dash co dash this edge we need to make the hp uh, how much 50 degree and to vp 30 degree first we will make this one hp 50 degree to do that we can go to the move option switch on the copy 
hold the control select all the edges including center line and you can pick it from c dash and place it on the x y line <coughs> and this extra line you can trim it and now go to rotate option and then select all the edges and lines and this one uh, we can make it fixed point because c dash resting corner on the x y and this o dash it should be rotated and position angle we have to give 50 okay and then uh, this is a uh, far away for the final step if you want to space miss you can bring it near to this we have to pick it from here you can bring it near and then coming to the naming and this will be c dash and this one is uh, o1 dash and this is uh, b dash of a dash and this is o dash and you can show the angle here this is the edge containing the corner this should be 50 degree we satisfied and now to get the top view go to the line normal line draw the position lines one by one you can first you can draw the c and c dash we will get the c on this point and same way center o1 we will get it at this point and then b dash and a dash we can draw up to you and you fix the angle 0 and then draw up to here because sometimes the relationship will make confusion to draw the horizontal lines in that case you can you fix the angles and you can join it and this is o dash the first uh, move the, the namings this is a and this one is uh, b this one is c and then uh, this is uh, o and here o1 now go to line visible line so let me uh, doing this uh, as usual first we will finish the border uh, like uh, o to a and b to o this is the border we have to make it visible line and next check the endmost point that is c dash here that means c from the c whatever the line comes that will be hidden so you can trim this and now from the c uh, go to the line hidden line and the thickness you can take it 0.5 and what are the lines come from C C to B then C to A and then C to O these are the three lines comes those things are hidden and then uh, axis line only this portion we can draw the center line you can trim this area and you can go to line and here you can take the center line from the O one to C up to here you can draw because the the furthermore it's overlapping no need to draw the line and next here so what happens see that uh, this is the the edge containing the corner o, o dash c dash is inclined vp here in the two steps it is having same length so we directly we placed but coming to the next step see this o to c having a length of 35.35 but initially it is having you can show this length this initially it is having 55 when the length is changes we need to find the upper end uh, angle so that's why first we will draw the actual angle they given 30 degree enter minus 30 can show the angle 30 degree and now go to arc by center point first take the common center and now first give the radius 55 degree sorry uh, 55 mm and then draw the arc on the uh, 30 degree and then go to line uh, hidden reference we have to draw the uh, locus line from the intersection of that line in horizontal uh, <coughs> locus line we have to draw and then uh, take the same center and now we need to draw the arc on the locus line by taking the radius 35.35 enter and draw the arc on the locus line and then go to line normal line from the common center through the intersection of the locus and then we need to extend the line and then check the angle this angle should be beta angle that we got 51 degree 
now on this uh, bit angle this oc should be placed now go to move hold the control select all the edges including center and you can pick from o and place it on the bit angle line and then go to rotate same way hold the control select all the edges and then you make it o as a center point and this o1 rotating point make sure it should be come on that bit angle line and here you can trim this lines and then go to move move the namings and this is o and this is b and this is a and here we get the c and then this one is o1 and now for the final front view we can get it by drawing the vertical projections from the top view and horizontal projections from the front view and join one by one here o is your o dash is uh, we are getting on this point so we can draw the line up to here get the o dash and then a so a dash we are getting uh, on the top here so a and a dash we can join up to here and get the a then b this b is also at the top you can join up to your draw the line and get the b and now c c is on the xy line you can draw up to the xy line and get the c dash and then the o1 dash so we are getting o1 dash over here draw this and get the o dash before joining all this with the visible line and hidden lines first we will name it so first here this will be o dash and this one is uh, a dash and this is b dash and then this is c dash and this one is o1 dash okay now go to line visible line how to identify which one is visible here the base is what abc is the base and here abc base is coming first we are seeing always uh, i am telling that always we make the base downside so it will be easy to make base is visible so here we have to make this base that is a dash to b dash to c dash to o dash <coughs> sorry a dash so this complete base is visible first and then now check the first point what we are getting at the bottom from the bottom here a we are getting so a dash to o dash will be visible same way here a dash to o dash you have to make it visible and next check it when whatever the line coming from the remaining corners to the o dash if it comes inside the base this frame will be hidden it outside will be visible same way c when i am joining from c dash to o dash it is coming outside so this will be make it as a visible line and same way from b it is coming inside this frame so this should be hidden line go to line hidden line and take it uh, 0.5 and join to the o dash okay now everything is finished a dash to o dash b dash to o dash c dash to o dash a dash b dash c dash join and last one is center go to the axis line center line from o one dash to o dash you have to join it now everything is finished check it any namings or any dimensions are missing nothing is missing all are clear okay, problem is completed